What's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me make sure I have enough lighting. You know how I am with the basement. I stay in the basement, so I have this light in my direction. <laughs> I have this light in my direction. And it's still fucking dark in here. It's crazy. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. I'm putting this laptop on a suitcase because that's all I got. I ain't got no other table. I don't want to sit over at a desk. I want to be by my baby. I don't know if you can see him. He's sleeping. It's been a it's been a long morning for him, you know what I'm saying? And uh he's chilling right now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Um I'm just going to on this real quick. Uh, before I answer to all y'all and respond to you guys in the chat, because you know I like to talk to you guys and try to respond to every single one of you. Let me know if you can hear me, though, before I speak. Let me know if, my, if I'm projecting my voice loud enough to reach you. I need y'all to comment and let me know before I begin. Loud and clear, good shit. These people out here in the YouTube streets got me sipping on my coffee this early in the motherfucking morning. Listen, a bitch is tired. A bitch is tired, but you know, I saw King's Corner go live. She had that notification up since last night, so I'm like, 9 o'clock in the morning? Damn, I'm going to have to miss that shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that shit later. But my dog pissed on my bed. He's never done that shit. He's five years old, and he's never done that. He's never peed inside the fucking house. So I don't know what happened. It is negative 10 degrees outside, so it's probably why he didn't do his business as he should. So I've been up since 6.45 a.m. doing laundry, okay? So because I was up, I caught King's Corners um, live. So here I am. Because you got people out here like Grams. <laughs> you got people out here like Grams and OGYs sending out cease and desist letters to reactors. What? What is happening on the, in the YouTube streets? Okay. What is happening? What's up, King's Corner? Thank you for joining the live. I appreciate you. Now, I have a story to tell you guys before I move on to Grams. It is related to this whole cease and desist letters that's being sent out. So I named my channel Bliss Uncensored because I refuse to censor myself. I am, you get 100% bliss and 0% filter. The reason why I title that and why I'm so passionate about having a voice is because when I was a teenager, 16 years old in high school, I'm a good motherfucking kid, okay? I am, I was quiet, I was reserved, um, I was a loner. Uh, I loved school, I loved learning. So I was that quiet kid in class taking all the notes listening to, you know, following all the rules. And I was raised to respect my elders. Now, as y'all know, I've, I've been an activist in most of my life. And it all began at that age, 16. 9-11 happened. The war occurred. I was pro-troop but anti-war. I asked my teacher, if every morning, if I can stay seated during the Pledge of Allegiance. She was fine with it. So every morning when the Pledge of Allegiance happened, where everyone stands up and put their hands onto their heart, I sat down. No problem, no issues. Then one day a substitute teacher comes into class and she tells me to stand up. And I tried to explain to her that I spoke to my teacher and my teacher allows me to stay seated. 
mind you, I'm a quiet ass kid. I rarely spoke, okay? <laughs> so this is what I'm trying to explain to her in front of the whole class. She, this teacher tells me, well, you know what? Go find yourself another country, okay? This grown ass woman is telling a 16 year old child to go find yourself another country. If you said it to a white child, you might have received it differently, but as a brown child, a Hispanic, Latina, that to me was shocking and surprising. I mean, I'm a good kid, y'all. I have A's and B's in class. I listen, I follow the rules. And you're telling me to go find myself another country because I am choosing to use not my voice, but my body to stay seated. It, it, it was a it was a peaceful protest. And when she said that, all the students in the class looked at me. And I stayed quiet. I didn't say a single word. I did not argue with her. I did not fight for myself. And all these kids looking, all these students are looking at me like, bitch, you're not gonna say nothing? Like they were shocked. What was with what was happening? I did not get up and leave that class. I did not go to the principal to to do a complaint. I didn't tell my parents because my parents are immigrants from Mexico, and to them, it's just more about trying to survive, not dealing with teachers. <laughs> so ever since that day, I cannot, I cannot let that shit go. Because of that, I now I now use my voice. And I'm out there protesting for Black Lives Matter, um, the Chicano culture, women's rights, the LGBTQ rights, trans rights. I'm out there fighting uh, free Palestine. I'm out there. So when you have people like YouTubers, like Grams and OGYs sending out cease and desist letters to other YouTubers, not only is that a slap in the face, but it's, it's highly disrespectful. Let me explain. They are on the same platform we are, okay? They speak on a lot of stuff themselves, okay? YouTube is a great platform for us to voice our opinions and our thoughts. And me as a reactor, that's exactly what the fuck I'm gonna do, okay? Whether you agree with me or not, cool. I don't care, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can agree with me, disagree with me. I want you to leave your comments. If you guys see my responses to people who are anti-bliss and against um, some of my videos, like on the Easy and Natalie videos and, and my most recent video on Grams, I'm responding in a respectful way because I want you to have your voice. If I can speak my thoughts, I want you to do the same, right? And y'all are not even out here making videos. Y'all are viewers. So for people like Grams and OGYs to be in the same platform as all of us reactors and YouTubers, and you're trying to silence us, that's crazy. That shit is crazy. That's a whole nother level of crazy. I don't understand it. I don't get it. But I, that's how you know they are in their feelings, okay? They are sensitive to the subject of what's happening. For them to send out these letters and to let people know and to let these YouTubers know that what they're doing is affecting their lives it could very much be. It could very much be. If y'all haven't seen my video on Grams, the most recent one, and this is before I knew about this, the cease and desist letter, okay? I'm over here giving Grams the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I wanted to give Grams a chance because she's human. And I understand, I've been on that side. Not, not, as, not as the hate that she's getting, not that big. Just from the Easy and Natalie fans, from the royalty, Royalties World fans, I've been attacked from, 
from their uh, from their communities. And you know, Easy and Natalie, that they have a million subscribers, and little old me only had two thousand at the time. And y'all are attacking little old me during my depression at that. Okay. And I'm over here so innocent and so new to the YouTube world. I did not know me speaking my thoughts was going to cause that, right? So I know how it feels to be on that side. So Graham's, did my dog fall? Oh, y'all say hi to Gizmo. He wants to make an appearance real quick. <laughs> oh shit, he wants to play. It's too early, it's too early. But anyways, um, so, you know, I, I said what I had to say about Grams. I have my opinions on her. I agree with almost all of you. <laughs> you know, I agree with y'all. Everything I said, I mean that shit. But when I saw her last video and her sitting in those Uber rides and speaking to these strangers, I saw a different side, a different perspective. And I saw that she, she, she's hurting y'all. But whether you guys like to see it or not, I know she's a narcissist. We all know this, but she's still human, you guys. She did not kill nobody. She did not rob nobody. She manipulates and takes lots of offers. She'll take as much as she can get if it's being offered because ain't no one, ain't no one got a gun to their head to give out their money or their car. Hold on, y'all. My dog's crazy. Okay, stop. Um, she's human, y'all. She's got feelings. She's not a sociopath. She's too sensitive for that shit. I mean, she's out here sending out cease and desist letters. She's sensitive, y'all. So when I saw that, I felt the need to make a video and empathize, okay? I still stand by everything that I say about that woman, okay? Narcissistic, 100%. Uses women, yes, come on. You said it yourself, if, if you don't benefit, if, if they're not there to benefit you, then what's the use of them? I mean, how, how else are we supposed to interpret that? And if that's, if that's not exactly what you meant, you should have cleared that shit up. You feel me? So I know, I know she is going through something for her to send this stuff out. But girl, you chose to be on this platform though. You're choosing to put your life out there. I know what the fuck I signed up for. So when all these Easy and Natalie fans and Royalties Worlds fans came and attacked me, I knew, I knew that I signed up for this shit. If I put myself out there and speak my thoughts, my mind, my opinions, all that shit, I might get backlash, especially since my opinions are very, um, what do you call it? controversial or they're very uh, uh, unpopular. I know what, what I am expecting to get. I signed up for that shit. Okay, we signed up for this. It's a public platform. You're, girl, if you didn't want people to speak on your life, don't speak on it yourself on here. Don't speak on it on here. And OG Wise, okay, so with OG Wise, I've never seen any of her reactions. I don't know how she reacts. I don't know how she uh, delivers her messages and her opinions. But if you're a reactor, you're giving opinions. You are a reactor, girl. How? How does that make sense? How are you trying to silence other reactors and you're a reactor, your damn self. What the fuck? What the fuck? See, for me, my channel, my videos, I give opinions. I don't give facts. Does that make any sense? I share my experiences. I share my wisdom. I share my knowledge. 
I'm 38 years old. I'm not a fucking child. I've been through some shit. That's why I know so much from firsthand experience or from people around me. I give my opinions. If I see something, l- listen, I read people very well. My therapist, because, you know, we're all fucked up. As humans, life will fuck you up. Every single one of y'all, including myself. My therapist says, you're good at reading people because it's a defense mechanism. It's like a wounded dog. When the dog is wounded, they're more cautious and more careful and they observe a lot more than your happy dog, <laughs> than your typical dog that's, let, that's having a great life. So I can see through the bullshit and I'm gonna call it out for what it is. So I don't do my research to know exactly who these fucking people are. I don't care because I don't care to know them personally. I'm watching TV. That's what the fuck I'm doing. I'm watching TV. Okay. Just the way, just like how you guys watch movies and TV shows and you're with your, with your boot thing, you're with your children, you're with your friends, you're watching the show. You guys are giving your opinions. You guys, when you guys are watching uh, the Real Housewives of, of Atlanta, y'all are watching that shit. It's like, this bitch is fucking crazy. Oh, hell no. Nah. No, fuck her. That's what we're doing. We're just doing it on YouTube, literally. So it's disappointing to know that a reactor is sending out cease and desist letters to other reactors. That one is surprising. I'm not going to lie. There's going to be a time here and there where a YouTuber who is getting a lot of um, hate, who they're human, so they're in their feelings, and there's going to be a time where they start suing. Even Cardi B, y'all, she's a public figure, and she sued, what's her name? What's that, uh, that, that uh, YouTuber name? That, inf- that influencer that talks so much shit and so much... Um, um, unfactual stuff about about her. Yeah, Tasha K. Yeah, thank you, uh, Lofty Leah. She won that shit. So you guys, these people are human. Okay, so I understand why Grams is in her feelings. I get it. I get it. And it's crazy that I saw this video of hers and reacted to it because I did see a different side of her and I see, I see that she's hurt, y'all. She's... I just want her to do good. I want her to do better for herself. Fuck all of us. Who gives a fuck about all of us for herself? She'll eventually find true love if she stops this lifestyle that she's creating for herself. I don't want, I don't wish bad on nobody, nobody. So I knew by making that video, that I was going to get a little bit of backlash. And I did a little bit here and there, but I don't care. Ain't nobody going to stop me from speaking, you know? And that's including Grams and uh, OG Wise. I'm still going to speak my piece, the fuck? (laughs) So I saw King's Corner and she was sent this letter by both Grams and OG. When she read those letters, girl, (laughs) tell me why that shit sounds so fake to me. It did not sound legally professional. Just like she said, like, it sounded like they got it from a template and did some copy and paste bullshit. That's what it's, that's what it sounded like to me. To me, they went on that, what do you call it? That GPT chat. And they put in there. Um, write a cease and desist letter to King's Corner from Grams or from OG Wise. And then GPT filled that shit out. And they, just like, just like King's Corner said, I do believe they spoke amongst each other. They're like, all right, you're ready to send it? Yeah, bitch, I'm ready to send it. All right, let's go. They sent that motherfucker. From my understanding, they only sent it to her. And most likely than not, 
they sent it to Nick and Carla. I really feel like they sent it to them too. Because I'm not going to lie, Nick and Carla has reacted to their to Graham's story the most. <laughs> All right. So I I would be surprised if they if they didn't send it to her, to them. Like, how is that? Like, you know, and if y'all are curious to know, um, when I saw King's Corners live, I went to my email because just like her, I don't check my email like that. I do not. Every now and then I'll get like a sponsor um, opportunity and I'd be missing that shit. I'm like, oh shit, it's too late. <laughs> Lost some money there, but it's all right though. So I went to my email and I scrolled, scrolled, scrolled. Nothing in my inbox. I went to spam, scrolled, scrolled, scrolled. No, I didn't get shit. I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing at all. Not a damn letter. But if I was to ever get that letter, I would give it a few days. I would give it a few days because I need time to speak to my attorney, to look over it, to let me know if it's legit or not. You know what I'm saying? Most likely it's fake. So if it's fake, I'm going to keep on speaking on it if I want to. My life does not evolve or revolve around them. So my focus is not them. I just look at I just look at my uh, YouTube uh, homepage and my subscriber page. Whatever video is up that I find interesting and curious, I'm so curious about. That's what I'm gonna react to. And if it's Gramps, I'm gonna react to it. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? So that would never shut my mouth. I'm tell you that much right now. What a cease and desist letter is. Hold on, my dog is trying to get my attention, you guys. I apologize. He does this, he does this on purpose. He don't really need his toy. He don't need it. But because I'm you guys got my attention, he don't like it. <sighs> my dog be getting a little jealous sometimes. Sorry. Apologize. Apologize. Um so what a cease and desist letter is, it's a legal warning. It's, you're not being sued. Um, it's not, um, it's not legal documentation to where it's like, you're not allowed to speak on it. No, if, if you could choose to keep, you can choose to continue to speak on it. And if you do, and they still have a problem with it, then they can take you to court. Because they gave you a legal warning. You didn't listen. Okay, now I'm going to take you to court. So that shit wasn't sent to me. And I was very, I think I was pretty brutal <laughs> on Grams. But I'm also not, but I'm also not biased. You get what I'm saying? Like I heard her story. I heard Ari's. I, I gave my shit to Ari, too. You know what I'm saying? I was brutal to Ari, too. So I'm just giving opinions, just throwing opinions out there. I don't want anyone to, you know, jump into my bandwagon and just let's bully them. No, that's not my intentions. Everyone's got their own mind and their own brain. If they want to follow others, that's on them. If they have the same opinion as me, kudos. I'm just, I'm just speaking for myself. So if there's backlash happening to OGYs and to Grams, listen, from my community, I'm sorry and I apologize for that. It's not my intentions. And there is no ill will on my end. I am an individual. And before I watch any, stop it. No. Okay, now he wants another toy, even though he's got his toy right here. Oh my God. You're, listen, after this morning and pissing on the bed, we ain't doing this. We ain't doing this. All right, back to y'all. I'm sorry, I apologize. You know, sometimes in life. Um, what was I saying? Damn it. See, you know I can't, my memory's really bad. Why are you doing that? Okay, come here. Uh, anyways. Um, so 
So yeah, I apologize um, if Grams, if I'm hurting your fucking feelings and it's putting you in a depression in any form, because I don't want that on anybody. I don't wish that shit on anybody. I have, I battle with uh, what's it called generalized depression. So every few years, I would get depression and I would be in that depression for years. My longest was four years. So I know how that shit feels like. So I don't wish that on anybody. What? But it's not gonna stop me from speaking my mind. I'm sorry. I empathize. But if you're not willing to change your ways, what do you expect? You know, if you want more positive feedback, if you want more positive engagement, be a better person. You get what I'm saying? But no, I did not get that cease and desist letter. Um, what I also think what played a part too was the fact that Nick and Carla and King's Corner, these reactors made a lot of views off of her life, okay? <laughs> Listen, Grams, you can't get mad. You can't get mad because they, they hit better views than your own videos on your own life. <laughs> They just know how to deliver things the the entertainment wise, you know, like they just know how to do shit the correct way. Like I don't know how to explain that. And you can't get mad at that shit. And don't be on your feelings about that. It sucks. It sucks that people are making money off of your life, but I mean, shit, you know what you were getting involved in. This is YouTube. Welcome. And OG Wise, is she new? Because I only heard of her because Grams posted be posting her videos on her community page. So I would scroll past it and I was curious because she looks like an older um, stud. So I'm like, oh, that'd be interesting to watch. But I never got to it. But already, like this alone, isn't this like the second time she's threatened to like uh, do legal action on somebody? And... From her subscriber account, it doesn't seem like she's been on YouTube for that long. Am I wrong? I'm like, damn, girl, like this is not your type of platform. You should not be on YouTube if you're going to be in your feelings all the time like this. Like, and, and, I'm, and I'm not criticizing your work because I've never watched it. But if you're out here sending out letters, legal action, girl, you're in the wrong field. You are in the wrong field. If you can't take that shit. This is the wrong place. Your skin's not not strong enough for this shit. And I've seen I've seen OG post on her community um, via text, um, defending her opinions about Graham's situation, and like she's constantly de defending herself as if like, girl, who cares? You spoke your mind. You, you spoke your side. Who cares if they believe you or not? Who cares? This is Graham's life. Why are you involving? Why? <laughs> you act as if, you act as if people are attacking you for your lifestyle. Like what happened? Did I miss something? I'm confused. I don't know what Grams does for a living. I uh, outside of YouTube, I don't care. I really don't. All I know is that I have money for an attorney. So if y'all want to go to that level with me, I, 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 let's do it. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm not gonna stop speaking. So stop, stop making, stop making videos if y'all are afraid of reactors uh, talking on it. And Grams, that should tell you something too. That right there should tell you. If this, if this many people don't like how I'm presenting myself and how I'm treating others, there might be a problem. Something might be happening. Maybe I should look real deep into it and do my work to make myself a better person. Not for all these people, for yourself, girl, it's just, uh, it's just so, OG Wise disappoints me the most. Like, you're a reactor, girl. I don't understand that shit. That one is a shocker for me. That one is a shocker for me.
I don't know. I, I can't relate. I can't relate to these people. Because when I got attacked by Easy and Natalie fans, Easy is rich. Okay? This happened during my depression. That shit put me in a fucking dark hole. But because of my pride, because <laughs> I have a problem with pride. That's one of my flaws. Because of my pride, I was like, no, fuck that shit. I'm not going to let them uh, take kick me out of YouTube. I just fucking started. No, fuck that shit. I'm still going to speak my mind. And, I, and of course, I rebuttaled. I, I responded to her Instagram lives and her Instagram posts. I'm not going to allow someone to just beat me down like that. But the bitch is rich. If I really wanted to be in my feelings and become bitter, I would have sent I would have sent her a cease and desist. Don't talk about me. You're sending hate my way. And this is during my I uh, was going through therapy. So that would have been a good um a good defense on my end because I actually have paperwork stating that I am being affected. All right? I didn't. I'm on YouTube. This is what happens. This is what happens to influencers and to public figures. You're putting your life in display. People are watching. Those type of people are who get in their feelings like that and send out legal action, in my opinion, have never experienced it before. And I'm thinking OG Wise has never had this type of reaction. So she doesn't know what to do with it other than send legal action. Grams has dealt with this for years. And in my opinion, I think views, I think the fact that other people are making fucking 15 to like 40,000 views off of her life while she's only making 2,000 to 4,000 views on her videos, on her own life. A little, maybe a little envious, in my opinion. See, I thought I was gonna have time to, to read the chat, but I'm scrolling. Oh my God, that is so much. I am so sorry, y'all. See, when I get to talking, I get to talking. Like, stop playing with me. But what I will do when I end this live, I'm gonna go back to the live chat and replay it because I wanna see who commented. Cause I love to recognize people's names and who's been my supporters and who hasn't. I like to recognize you guys and acknowledge you guys. So at least I wanna know what you guys have been saying on here. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't sent any, any cease and desist letters. So King's Corner, girl. That ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? You're doing great without the topic of grams. <laughs> okay. You were doing great before her. You were, you're doing great now and you'll do great after. So if she thinks by you not talking or speaking on her is going to affect your channel, it's not. It's really not. It's just one less topic to talk about. There's too much shit going on right now on YouTube that we can react to. It's fine. You know, so keep doing your thing, girl. I ain't mad at you. Do your thing. And if there's any reactors that want to react on me <laughs> and want to talk their shit and talk their negativity on me, you're welcome to. I put my hand up high like this. And I am un under oath, my dog. I'm giving you permission to speak your thoughts and your opinions about me, whether they're negative or positive. Let's have fun. Let's entertain these people. Let's have a good time. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. I don't know what time it is. Like, y'all, this is too early for me. Like, and I was saying, like, I work second shift when I was on. Like, this dog finally calmed the fuck down. He's been giving me a rough morning. I fucking love him.
<laughs> humans suck. By the end of the day, humans suck. Okay, animals are the best. That's that. This right here shows true loyalty. This is what I wish humans were like. But unfortunately, humans are not like that. All right, y'all. I am going to end the life here. Um, let's see what happens. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> let's see what happens with this saga. This is some real life shit, y'all. Thank you for everyone who came into this live. I appreciate y'all. And continue to support all the reactors because we put in work and we are a voice for ourselves. And for those who feel like they don't have a voice and have the same opinions, we are a voice to you or for you as well. So yeah, we ain't going nowhere. We still got we still got some opinions to give. <laughs> see y'all um on the next reaction for one, maybe tomorrow, maybe today. I don't know. We'll see. I got a whole career outside of this fucking YouTube shit. But I will be back because I love the drama. Bye y'all. Peace.